Good morning. How are you guys? Giving everybody just a few minutes before we get started right at 8 o'clock. It is an absolutely spectacular sunrise this morning. So I think it is going to be absolutely beautiful as we walk around. We are here at the Port Orleans Resort. Give everybody just another minute, that way everybody can get settled. So as everybody gets in, wanted to let you guys know, we, this is a, here we go, we'll flip the camera a minute. <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. We are at the Port Orleans Resort and this is not your typical theme park live stream. Right now we are doing a 45 minute walk motivational walk and today we are at Disney's Port Orleans Resort for a spectacular sunrise that I think you guys will enjoy. We're going to talk a little bit about the resort itself and then we'll spend the other half of the walk uh, talking about motivational fitness and running topics. So good morning. So you have a couple of options. You can uh, just watch, enjoy your coffee, have a great morning along with us, or you can walk along, listen in on the chat, talk along with everybody, and maybe you'll be on your treadmill, maybe you'll be on a spin bike, any of those options. Uh, however, uh, if you do, you can put it on a big screen, we should be in 1080 pee this morning so it should look great also if you are just in it for the POV another option is Adam and I love to put these types of POVs up on our treadmill or our fitness equipment and then pop in our earbuds with our own music so certainly any of that is possible the main thing is we hope that you enjoy, you love checking out the sunrise here at Disney's Port Orleans Resort. We're gonna talk about the resort, we're gonna talk about some topics that I've uh, thought about for today, and we hope you have a great time. With that, real quick, uh, we are starting out here on the French Quarter side. They are doing some renovations. So we can't go too much over by the pool area. Uh, but, so it is 8.01. I think we've given everybody a good chance to get on the stream. So get your watch started. I'm going to get my watch started. Okay. Outdoor walk. Let's do this. 45 minutes. Let's head on through. So we are starting here at the Port Orleans French Quarter. Just the resort itself is pretty huge landscape wise. So Port Orleans is made up of actually two resorts. There's Port Orleans, the French Quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. Port Orleans, the French Quarter, and then Port Orleans, Riverside. So we are going to take the pathway along the Sasagula River and over into the Riverside. And the gardens and the landscaping is just so peaceful. So beautiful. It's a, another resort location that if you're looking for space, to be able to have morning runs, morning walks, any of those things, these are a great choice for you. So Port Orleans, whether you're at French Quarter or Riverside, is a moderate resort. This side is themed after New Orleans. And then the riverside portion 
is themed after kind of the old south like Mississippi oh you guys this sunrise over here as we go along the river oh so <laughs> I could not start too much earlier because it was dark at 7 and 7 15 and I formally would be starting a lot of these walks around 7 15 eventually it will get there and it'll be light out but this morning at 7 15 it was quite dark with the time change that just happened so good morning everybody thank you so much for joining me So right here along the Sasagula River, this is where the boat docks to take you over to Disney Springs. And it starts at 10 a.m. So nobody's out here right now because Disney Springs is not open. Therefore, the boat is not running right now. So out in the morning is so, so peaceful over here uh, this particular path along the river and the loop that we're gonna make is about a mile and a half give or take depending what route that you'd like to weave around maybe you throw in some of the building loops <laughs> If we have time at the end, I'll show you some of this construction. I try not to weave the camera around too much if somebody's on the treadmill. It really throws you off. But we just passed here on the left kind of a makeshift bar because the bar and the pool is under renovation here at the French Quarter side. So they do have you going to the riverside area to enjoy their pool. Oh, here. See? It shows you right here. It's closed for refurbishment, but use the other portable bar there. So, another fun fact. In totality, both resorts combined they have over 3,000 rooms between the third uh, French Quarter and the Riverside. And that's one of the other reasons why I really, really like coming here and it's peaceful and enjoyable. And you can take a carriage ride. There are two locations on property once we get over to the riverside, I'll point it out a little bit. But you can take just the most beautiful carriage ride. We did that on a Patreon stream. We took the Patreon members on a virtual carriage stream. Oh, it was money well spent. I believe it was $75. And... It was about a half an hour ride and oh man I'm I'm just awful I should <laughs> the carriage driver I think that's the appropriate term carriage driver gives well I would say they give facts but they're also open that if you want to have a a peaceful quiet maybe a romantic carriage stroll with somebody they are quiet too <laughs> but they can be as talkative or non-talkative as you like and there are two locations to get carriage rides in Walt Disney World property this one is my favorite but over at the Fort Wilderness campground you can pre-book those carriage rides as well. 
We are about eh, seven minutes in. And just a reminder, this is a 45 minutes motivational walk around Walt Disney World. Today we're at the Porter Leans. I'm walking about a 16 minute pace. If you're trying to follow along or keep up, I try to keep it at the 16 minute pace because that is Run Disney's minimum when you're in a long distance race. The 5Ks have no, no pacing requirement. But I try to keep it around that just for, you know, authentic, authenticity purposes. Oh, and it is a gorgeous 65 degrees. It's been really, really warm the past couple days. Last yesterday, we were out and it was, oh my gosh, it was almost 90. And I thought to myself, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for 90 degrees. <laughs> So speaking of Port Orleans French Quarter, we are headed now into the Riverside section. And the Riverside has some just beautiful areas. This is Magnolia Bend and look at those buildings. I think just the architecture and theming of the buildings and the distance in and of themselves is beautiful. And then there's Alligator Bayou. Those buildings will be towards the end after we pass the main lobby area. And fun fact, you can have your pet in some of these rooms. So not all Disney Resorts pets, I wanna clarify, because <laughs> I'm sure somebody will send me some message or clarify for me but pets versus service animals <laughs> not all resorts have pets allow for pets and fun fact if you want to bring your your furry friend pet and you want them to have a nice dog spa grooming well, I don't know about grooming, but boarding day while you're out at the parks. The Best Friends Pet Motel, <laughs> I'll call it. It's called Best Friends. It is right across the street from Port Orleans. So actually where we're at, this little junction here, the lobby is off to our left. The Best Friends building is literally across the street. So you can take them there. Nice time, uh, not have to worry about what's happening to them in a room or in a crate or <clears throat> whatever that you have planned, you can bring them over there. And I haven't looked into the cost lately, but I would say it's along the lines of a typical boarding facility. And they have different price ranges and, and options for your pet. Oh, new dad, I am very proud of you. Uh, putting in hard work at the gym. Well, thank you. Great job. You know what? You got to. This morning, I did not want to get up. I will be... 100% honest right now. <laughs> I absolutely struck. I didn't know. There was a part of me, there was a big part of me this morning that had my finger halfway on the cancel button this morning, for sure. <laughs> I was like, hmm, do I want to get, it's still dark out. And you know how it goes when the time changes and you think it's still dark. I don't want to get up. <clears throat> it's 
still dark. I don't want to get up. This bed is super comfy. I absolutely had my hand on the cancel button this morning. <laughs> and I thought, no. So as much as some of you guys say that we motivate you, I probably would have just stayed in bed this morning. For sure. Absolutely for sure. But you know what is awesome? Is now I'm here. I, I cut it real close getting here. <laughs> I cut it real close. And I was like, oh, don't make me get up. Don't make me get up. But I cut it real close. I'm here. And this morning, as soon as I got here and I saw the sun, I was watching the sunrise as I was driving over here because, as I mentioned, it's super dark. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, those guys scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> They're just like security officers on bikes, just making their rounds. Um, but yeah, as I was driving in, I was watching the sunrise and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's so nice out. And now I'm all jazzed up and I'm good to go. I can't say that I won't go home and say, hmm, maybe I should just watch a movie or something. I'm lies. I'll probably clean or I need to go grocery shopping. That's unfortunately my sad fact of today <laughs> so right here we are in alligator bayou so you can see a little bit of the difference uh, in the building structures over here jvb am i doing the wine and dine this fall they're doing the 10k and that's our first run disney race oh my gosh that's amazing. That's amazing here. Well, yes, we'll talk about that. So I'm glad you guys are on with me this morning. I'm, I'm glad all of you guys are here. Let's talk about Run Disney for a minute before I get into the all the motivational topics that I planned. Because I actually do prepare for these walks. <laughs> That's just me being me. But... um. So, for Run Disney, we are entering what I like to call registration season. So, there's really no rhyme or reason to it, but like it's not official is what I'm trying to say. But Run Disney, in my opinion, here at Walt Disney World has two seasons. I consider it race season where they're actually running the races because it's cooler. So November, they have wine and dine. January is marathon weekend. February is princess weekend. And then April is springtime surprise. So they're very busy focusing on actually executing, running the races. And that's kind of what we're wrapping up right now. And then... <laughs> Then the madness starts. Just last week, they kicked off what I call registration season because that's when my pocketbook is crying. My credit cards are begging me to stop and that's where I'm just shelling out the money because I love it so much. <laughs> so last week kicked off registration season and registration season is, it's, I swear, it's like back to back to back to back. Every time I turn around, they're registering because they register races about nine months in advance. So wine and dine registration just popped up. So good news. If you are, if you've been walking with me and many of you have said, well, when can I register? When I can do this? You have to be ready to go on the morning of registration. Unfortunately, you can't just decide a week later, 
a month later, you have to decide and you need to commit. Does that stink a little bit? Yes. Because for some people are like, well, but I don't know my schedule. I don't know this. I don't know that. But you know what? You can flip that mentality. There, I'm going to turn this into a motivation. <laughs> you can flip that mentality and say, and say, uh, you know what? It is, I have nine months. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this race and I'm going to put together a training plan. That way I commit. Because I'm about to do that to Adam. I'll tell you that in a second. So, uh, yes, you have to register far in advance. There is no, oh, this is really pretty. Let's just go down here for funsies, okay? Just because I like it. Um, so, I like that. I, I like to turn it around and say, well, I can be really frustrated because once you're in, you're in. You're not getting your money back. Sorry, folks. You can't. That's just the way it goes. So, unfortunately, once you register, it is what it is. So, I like to look at it as I'm in now. And if you're like me, you don't want to lose out on that 250 bucks or whatever you paid for the race. So you might as well put together a plan, which kind of leads me into the question you actually asked. <laughs> there we go. So once you're committed, I think for starting out, and it's not even if you're starting out, because on my last motivational walk, I talked about my biggest problem right now is just complacency. I'm just, I'm really proud of a lot of the achievements that I've had over the 10 years at Run Disney, over the 10 years that I've been committed to running on a regular basis. And I'm kind of just enjoying life, uh, running a little bit less, being with the kids more, doing things like this, and I'm not overly, I, I, I would say that I'm probably not overly driven as much as I used to be, but so, which frustrates me because then I get up and I'm like, I really want to run at these fast times that I used to be at, but then there's part of me that's like, I'm so... I'm very at peace with all the marathons, all the half marathons. Anyway, that's my own problem. But when you come back to it, you don't have to be just starting out. Somebody like me, I need a plan. Oh goodness, we're going into so much of the motivational talk that I had planned today. <laughs> you need a plan. Because, and that's just anything in life. So if you want to achieve a goal, you need a plan. You cannot absolutely wake up and say, well, I'm just going to do this. You know, so for me, I, it might be for you, write it down. With our live streaming, I have a schedule. I need to say, here, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. This is how we're doing it. And Adam is not so detailed. <laughs> He's extremely organized in uh, like physically, you know, our equipment and things like that. But I take care of all the Genie Plus. I take care of all of the details that go into so much things. And that's where I think we really complement each other and work really well. And the same thing goes for fitness. So, um, you know, I don't, <laughs> I'm sure he's probably listening right now, but I think that 
that's where things for him and things for me worked really, really well. When he lost a hundred pounds, um, it is really, really difficult to lose all of that. But where it's hard and it's very hard for me is to maintain that. And how do you have a lifestyle that is long term? Because everybody says, oh, and I'm, I'm so guilty of it that I'm going to go on this diet and now I'm six months and I got to where I want to be and I feel great and I look great. And then, you know, it's Christmas and I'm going to have 12 cookies because it was fun and we went to this party and we had all sorts of things and then I didn't get to work out and then you get back kind of into a rut and you have to kickstart yourself. So kind of going back to the newbie or even somebody like me who's been doing it for a long time, having a plan is absolutely essential. And it's not just, hey, I'm going to go out. It might be, I'm going to go out, but I'm going to run three miles. That is also something I've learned over time. That <laughs> I might say, oh, I'm going to run three miles today. But if you really, really take the time to say, I'm going to do three miles. But where I'm really going to help myself is saying, the first mile, I'm going to try it about this pace. Whatever that might be for you. Or follow Jeff Galloway's methods. He's, his method is run, walk, run. His books are phenomenal. He is phenomenal. And saying, I'm going to improve myself because I'm going to follow this run, walk, run method. And maybe on this run portion, I'm going to run a little bit faster. So you, you get to that point where you say, okay, this is my time. Beep, beep. My watch goes off. And now, okay, I got to kick it up. And in your head, you already got it in your head. This is what I need to achieve. So you aren't just kind of going out there. And for me, <laughs> it's like dogging it. You know, I there are times for sure. And that's why I, sadly, I need, I need to make more of an effort. And Adam does too. To say, let's go run together. Because we feed off each other a lot. So... Adam and I are very, very different runners. <laughs> and that's why I love encouraging you guys and why I want to be able to tell you, don't just cling to the first advice you hear. I, that's something that I've learned so much over time is that you might read somebody who's an elitist and they're wonderful and they're great, but... Um, maybe their method doesn't really work for you. There are so many different ways of achieving your goal. So some people really love the run, walk, run method by Jeff Galloway. So run a little, walk a little, run a little, walk a little. And you would be utterly shocked how much improvement you can see and benefit you can see in that. Somebody like Adam, it really, really bothers him. He really cannot follow that. It's just not something that uh, works for him. And so he preferred, and he still to this day, prefers to just run, straight out run or jog straight through. He'll walk at certain points, yes, but he would absolutely prefer to just, and maybe his run is slower than my run portion in a run, walk, run. Um, and then he works his way up with that. So, you know, different things for different people. It doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong, 
but you can figure out that's why training is so so important because what you and how you train you got to figure it out and it's not something that I can tell you or anybody else can tell you it's something that you'll figure out over time to say you know what I really feel much better and I feel stronger when I you know when I when I'm doing this the other thing that's really key is um, nutrition so if you are doing a longer run a 10k uh, at, oh I should answer your other question I'm so sorry about that so for wine and dine registration I am proud to announce Adam and I will be doing the half marathon once again that's a tradition for us quite honestly here I'm gonna jog a little faster here Uh, Adam and I are going to be doing the half marathon. That is a huge tradition for myself. It is technically the first race I ever did was the Tower of Terror 10 miler, which is no longer. And then followed by Wine and Dine. I had done Wine and Dine every year until 2021. Of course, 2020 doesn't count. And then sadly, I had Harper. And Harper was born just two weeks before the wine and dine, so I could not run. And it broke my heart, <laughs> but for good reason. All good things, all good things. But what came out of it is why I want to encourage you guys to just, you know, be yourself and find out what works for you and run the race that you're most proud of. Not because your friend says, this is how we're gonna do it, or this is the best. You figure out what's good for you. And I'll tell you why. Because Adam is so doubtful. He always second guesses everything. And by everything, I mean everything. <laughs> and I'm always telling him, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, Harper was born in 2021. Like I said, two weeks before the one and dine half marathon. And while I bawled like a baby, it was the return of Run Disney after COVID. And it was important for us, me and a Run Disney channel, to be there. And so Adam... Adam got the half marathon and he trained along with me while I was pregnant. So, uh, disclaimer, again, I've been running a long time. I ran three different half marathons while I was pregnant with Harper, but because I've been doing this for a long time. So, with that, uh, Adam got the half marathon for wine and dine in 2021 and we came out Harper and I being two weeks old don't worry she was well insulated she was okay she was only out of the house for like an hour and a half <laughs> so don't write me letters about that she's doing fine today <laughs> but we came out because on his own Adam has said in multiple videos that things were always because I was there or uh, I was his coach. And yes, there's times where I was very encouraging and said, this is how you can do it and this is what you can try and here's how you can continue getting better. So um, while I uh, could not run, Adam went out and ran the half marathon by himself. And I know he was very nervous and he said he wanted to do a sub two hour, a less than two hour half marathon. And this just goes to show you that when you give yourself a chance, when you give yourself a chance, you can do big things. 
because I, you know, he was no nervous. I said, you can do this. You can do this. So I stayed at home. And then when I knew he was going to be close, Harper and I, we, I made signs for Adam and showed up at the finish line. And Adam crossed the finish line in less than two hours. And I tell you that story because everybody has those moments where you feel like you can't or you feel like you're not good enough or you'll never get to a certain point or you'll never be able to do something. And when given the chance, <laughs> new dad said, that's it, we're writing a letter. <laughs> that's funny. There's always gonna be times where you say, I can't do that. There's no way. Or I have to, I have to be there with this person or for this reason. And this is an excellent example of how I am one of the moments, there's many moments, that my, my heart just blows up with happiness for Adam because he's gotten so many, so many huge achievements in his life uh, that I'm beyond proud of. But... The first beam when he crossed the marathon finish line for the first time. And oh my gosh, he was so happy, but I was like bawling for him. And you know, he, he didn't believe that he could. He didn't believe, and he kept saying, but you're not there and I don't know. And you're right. We've always ran races together. And if you give yourself the chance and you don't discredit the things that you're capable of because again run the race that you were meant to run and I'm not saying not to run with friends or family <laughs> by all means yes there is a lot of motivation that comes with running from other people but when it comes to running and fitness Sometimes you can be handicapped by listening to what everybody else has to say. And in the case of Adam, like, that was just an unbelievable moment. And to see him and the look on his face and knowing that it had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with anybody. He, he ran the race that he that he put his time and effort into. And he just kept it in his mind, like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow the plan, and this is what I want to achieve, and I've practiced it, and I've tried it, and this is how I'm gonna get there. And I say that because it doesn't matter if you're new to running or just getting started in any kind of fitness journey or just something in life, like maybe, I don't know, I had a teacher one time, <laughs> the weird things that I think of when I'm live streaming, but I had a teacher one time that would always come, he, she would say, I don't know, maybe you want to learn underwater basket weaving. <laughs> that, I don't know why that's always stuck with me. I just always cracked up weird things that teachers say, I guess. But yes, maybe you want to learn underwater basket weaving. <laughs> Um, but having a plan, believing in yourself, because we only have about 10 minutes left. Maybe now is the time where wherever you are at, whatever you're doing, you say, you know what? I'm just going to give it a little bit extra right now. I'm going to give it a little bit more. I'm going to push myself. And maybe this is just, or maybe you're just watching this and you're saying, I need to take today and write down what I want to do. <laughs> as much as technology is a huge part of everything that we do today, I prefer to write things down, handwrite. So I have a notebook. You know, it's actually a nicer, it's, <laughs> don't, pr don't, it's not like a 50 cent spiral notebook. <laughs> it's a little more nice than that <laughs> but so I have a, a notebook one for work 
one for personal stuff, you know. And then, this is awful, but <laughs> our live streams, I have handwritten calendars because I like to, I'm constantly redoing them and saying, no, I thought about this and this is going to be a great live stream and this is going to be a great video and let's put this out here and this will be here and uh, it will all flow together really nicely and I handwrite everything. Does it have a lock on it? No, but it should. You know, um, old school diaries, I should. That's next up. I'm going to buy one. I'm going <laughs> to... But it does have one of those fancy, uh, stretchy bands. So it holds the page. <laughs> very, very professional stretchy. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I do. I call it weird I don't care <laughs> but for me then I know and you know what I love these walks right now and for the record uh, my watch says I'm at 1635 so I'm at 16 minute 35 second pace I'm I jogged a little bit to get around a couple families but I'm just fast walking which is right around that run Disney pace so write it down and because I'm here this morning, I'm here this morning because of you, because I wrote it down, because I said, this is what I'm going to do. I made a commitment and I know your commitment isn't, you know, maybe to hundreds of people who want to run the video. <laughs> you can, I'll watch it. If you run a video at home, wherever you're at, I'll watch it. Um, so I'll watch your POV while I'm on the treadmill. So when you have that written down and you say, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm gonna be, this is what I'm gonna do, you are more apt. You know, there's always situations that don't work out, but okay, we'll make a little twisty turn here. Um, you know, kind of along with that, I had some other things today that also what helps in motivation is music or um, walks like this. Finding what you enjoy to listen to. Some people, it's audiobooks. Sometimes it's things like this where we're walking and chatting around Disney. And sometimes, and sometimes it's really fast electronic music <laughs> or some in between. So finding what is important, and for me, that changes. So I might be in some kind of mood where I'm just not feeling it. I do not want the hyped up music and I just need something to kind of relax calm me down run the course that I'm wanting to and kind of relax and that's my that's my zen and other times I have playlists for all these different emotions and where I might be on a certain day I have a 30 minute push playlist which my 30 minute push playlist has now gotten to be like over an hour because <laughs> I keep adding to it. Equally, so finding music that motivates you and taking time to put together a playlist of these are the songs that when I need a pick me up, there's a couple of songs that when I need a pick me up, they are really important to me you know to get going and uh i also have a disney playlist <laughs> but additionally when i was thinking about motivation we were just at the magic kingdom after hours party and one thing that i was so excited about 
was that they were running the enchantment fireworks. And you guys have heard me talk about it. How much I love it. <laughs> oh, we only have like five minutes left. Five minutes left. Five minute warning. <laughs> this goes so fast. I'm not even through everything I wrote down. <laughs> but. Bus passing by. Um, in Enchantment, I think why, yes, I really like it because of Harper. Like, when I saw her face for the first time, see it, and how she reacted to it, it was awesome. But, <laughs> new dad said the Barbie soundtrack. You know, no judgment. No judgment. I'm going to look it up. I have not listened to that, I have to admit. But because of you, I will now listen and, and check out the Barbie soundtrack. We're all going to. <laughs> you are the magic. Yeah, I, um, so that's how I feel today. That's a good segue. Um, every time I hear it, like, I think of all of the races and I think about the goals that I have if you truly think of the words in the song if you believe today it's possible tomorrow because that is so factual I am living proof of it and just like everybody else I've had some really hard situations in life and I've had some things that have come easy, but nothing in life is easy. Nothing. And I've fallen down and fallen down. And when you are training and when you're fitness, you will absolutely always have moments where you fall down. Where, and you have two choices. You can just feel sorry for yourself, or you can just say, well, this is not gonna work. Well, guess what? There's other forms of exercise. If you're having a, an injury, there's other things that you can try. So if your leg is hurt, try doing some curls or some things with your arms. It's doable. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'll give you a little bit of tough love right now. <laughs> but if you believe today, then it's possible tomorrow. Yes, and you know why they're saying... Because nothing comes instantly. Think of, like, you have, this went way deeper than probably Disney even intended for me. But because you are believing today and you need to put in the work, it is 100% possible. I, I will say I never believed where this channel would go. I believed that I loved it. And that we put our heart and soul into things. But that's the end of that. And I never believed where this would go. And maybe that is something that I do need to <laughs> say. I, I believe that we can do big things. And, but believing today and putting the work in today will get you there. It will get you where you want to be. So... I love that about that quote you know nothing is easy and that it's going to come and it might not be it's not going to be instant I it, it takes hard work and the song doesn't say if you believe and put in hard work but I'll just pretend it does <laughs> But if you believe today it's possible tomorrow, it is. Because when you cross the finish line, when you achieve a goal, maybe it's a weight goal, maybe it's a fitness goal, you, like that feeling of achievement is outstanding. Um, but yeah, the spark is in your heart. And that kind of goes along with what we were saying earlier is, it is about you and the race that you're going to run and what you put into it. And 
you can only achieve as much as you put in. Always. So, with that, my goodness, that 45 minutes went so fast, I can't even. <laughs> so, if you're far out from your house, please come back or keep going, you know, or keep going. So, this beautiful, kind of cloudy, it was sunny earlier, sunrise morning, peaceful Port Orleans. <laughs> the remix version, new dad suggests yes, the remix version. Waka waka! <laughs> I would love that, like some DJ edited remix. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that at home later. I'll do some fun stuff on the computer with it. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys found a little bit of motivation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's lots to talk about for Run Disney. I'll show you guys some of the, the pool renovations that are going on right now. Empty pool at New Orleans, uh, Port Orleans. So, unfortunately, this is the pool, but it's under construction right now. So, no swimming, unfortunately, guys, sorry. <laughs> it has been just a phenomenal, here I'll, <laughs> it has been a absolutely gorgeous, motivating morning for us all here at the Porter Leans. I hope that you had a really great time. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I have quite a few other motivational walks they're in a playlist on YouTube that you can go through and rerun also Adam has quite a lot of POVs that are around Disney property that are set to music there's some really awesome POVs that I'm really proud of oh I don't have makeup on this morning sorry <laughs> um, that are set to music but they have uh, almost nobody in them because some of the POVs that we filmed around Walt Disney World property were right around the pandemic and there's nobody, like nobody in them and it's really pretty awesome. So if you haven't checked out some of those for your treadmill. Uh, also, don't forget we've got a live stream tomorrow from the parks. We should be at Magic Kingdom. That should be fun and check out the spring break crowds lastly you know what you are amazing i believe in you i know adam believes in you i know this community believes in you and i want you to know that if nobody has told you please like you are more amazing and you can do more things than you ever imagined i know that you can so with that I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.